Hi there, Joka here with my project with the Spabinders December 2023 small die kit as well as the 3D embossing folder of the month. Um, so let's see what's in the uh, club kit. It's um, <laughs> I actually needed the the illustration for this because I couldn't figure out these small pieces, uh, but then of course it all made sense. <laughs> So um, it's an umbrella with a headless woman and men. <laughs> so because they are basically under the umbrella, it's really, really sweet. These are the little shoe socks and such. And then you, um, you also get some sentiments with the set. And here's the gorgeous um, 3D embossing folder. There's two designs on it. Um, I actually started out by uh, pulling out this embossing folder from I do not even remember if it was this year or last year already but I thought this is a perfect um, folder for for my purposes and as you can see the bottom uh, you have some drops that are cut in half so I wanted to um, hide those or cover them up but I knew that my uh, characters are going to be in the middle of the, the card, so it's not going to be a problem. And I decided to do um, mini slimline cards. So this is six um, and a quarter by three and a quarter, um, the, the card base, I mean. And what I'm going to do here, I figured that I have to create my the top layer of my umbrella on a, <laughs> a a scratch a piece of paper as you can see because I want to be able to move the whole piece together on the background you see that there's two layers to the umbrella um, at the top left side you see that red one and I did not know where I have to put all my pieces on that background so I first wanted to put this together to figure that out if that makes sense. <laughs> and actually I'm going to place it in a different way, um, which is why this is also a good solution. Because um, later I noticed that uh, actually the whole, uh, th th these um, stripes should go almost like all the way to the bottom. So you only see those little, I don't know what those are called on, on the, red shape at the bottom you know that's all that should hang out but I wanted to have a little bit of a red uh, peeking out there so I'm actually um, moving this a bit further up and instead of the little circle die or die cut that goes at the top I'm using a heart that falls out of the um, the die that I just showed you, and actually, that way you could also create a, a handle for the umbrella, and then just use that without the people. I think, but I just found this uh, idea so adorable. I I wanted to use my people, so I'm creating the the mail first, and I wanted to um, have a pop of red there, so the socks are red. And I'm just going to stick with a, well, what I call like a Paris elegant um, color scheme. Don't actually know why. It's, it might not be stere stereotypical. <laughs> but um, I'm going to stick with black and white and red and then some uh, grays in there. Um, it, you know, when I see stripes, that's what comes to me first, but also it's easier for me because if I go with a more like a rainbow color scheme, then I really have to use a lot of different colors and then I have to think about what I use for what part, you know. Now, this one that looks like a skirt, I actually think that's probably a coat, um, from the sides um you will see when when the man is next to her i think that's a coat but you know i could be wrong so here i'm going to give her gray 
uh, tights and red shoes. And I used two of that skirt shape just so that I have a two colored or maybe like a coat and a skirt under it. Um, and I'm using, for my sentiment, I'm just using one of these. Um, there is one that says love, there is one that says you, and then there's, I think, three different ones with hearts. So I'm actually going to add one with a heart to represent love, and then one with the you at the bottom. And um, as you can see, I always wipe off the excess of the glue, either on my hands or if I actually remember I'm going to use a tissue paper for that. And now I will bring in a few different um, foam tapes. Um, they are different in thickness. Uh, this one is just maybe a millimeter. It's very, it's just a little bit of a, a dimension. And um, I'm starting with that because I want to place the lady over that so that uh, she has to have a bit more dimension and then the umbrella has to have even more dimension but I have um, well, actually I think I just layered the foam tapes together um, so it's a very simple um, design but also it's actually quite quick there's not a lot of pieces so I was happy because I don't know about you. I'm guessing it's the same problem for all of us. December is a busy month. Um, my family's, um, since <laughs> my husband and I live in a country that none of none of us are from, and we both are from different countries, so we have to travel pretty much all of December to to visit families. Um, so I really had to, unfortunately, choose what project I can do. And at this point, I should also mention that I had no time for the large die kit. So, um, I do not know if that's going to happen at all. So at this point, I'd rather say that I'm not going to have any projects with it because I don't want to, um, promise something that I cannot deliver um, so I don't know hopefully I can but I, I don't know <laughs> yet and also the same with the January one because we are actually going to be away until the 14th of January so I do not know yet I just don't want you to <laughs> check my YouTube all the time I know there's um, some of you who who are waiting for these videos so yeah this month i'm only gonna be able to show you this one but i did use the 3d embossing folder as well so at least there's that <laughs> so i'm creating a second card it's actually the same as the first one i just placed the uh, other sentiment on it and it, in a bit of a different way and I wanted to show you the new watercolor cardstock from Spabinders. I actually just got it. I don't know how new it is. <laughs> and I also got this beautiful sponge cloth. There's six designs in the shop. And here I'm showing this to you. You can pose it here and read the everything, everything that's on it, what it can do, why it's better for the environment um, than anything else. But... I don't want to use it because it's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Um, anyway, so I'm trying um, the watercolor paper. One side is textured, which is my favorite. So that's what I'm using here. It, it has a beautiful texture. And the on the, on the other side, it's smooth. So um, my idea, again, is to color this. But I'm only going to do one of the panels, um, this one. And I'm just going to do the same thing as I always do with these panels. I actually invested in a new um, Zig Clean color set. This I, I used to have the 61 uh, or the 60 pieces. This one is 90. Um, 
it is an investment for sure, especially here in Europe because you cannot even find it. And then you have to import it, import taxes, duty fees, and uh, anyway, it's expensive. And then on top of that, all the other costs. Um, I think these exist in 120 colors at the moment, um, but I couldn't get my hands on the the newest 30. So what I'm doing here is I'm testing which grays and which reds I can use for my project. I want it to stay as close to my color scheme as possible. And then I'm just going to add colors very, like super simple, um, like I always do. That's, um, I'm adding the color either on the left side of things or at the bottom. And then I'm um, using my water uh, brush uh, is it called water brush or water tank brush I don't know but you, you can see it in my hand uh, it's a brush that you can fill with water and then you can spread the um, paint because these uh, clean color brushes are super um, pigmented you can see that I hardly need any um, and by the way the, I only bought these um, because the other set that I had, I actually both used. So some of them were already kind of dry. Uh, I couldn't spread the color well. So I thought, you know, <laughs> I deserve this. <laughs> um, I, maybe I'm going to use it more often than, I don't know. I, I really love it. It's easy to to handle. I think this is really easy for people like me that don't do water coloring um, and of course I guess you can also achieve um, more of a watercolor look with this which means a bit more pastel uh, but you know not using this much pigment or paint like I did but I do love uh, bold colors so I don't. I don't know. I mean, when I'm looking at looking at uh, beautiful pastel watercolors, I love it. But I just cannot do it myself. I, I don't know. I don't know why. I always go with uh, bold colors. So anyway, I'm going um, flower by flower, trying to. I think I only had two uh, red colors. Um, so I'm trying to layer colors so I have a bit more. A variation in my flowers. Um, I'm not going to obviously show you the whole pr process because that took ages and by the way when you see the water brush here in the middle or not the water but the clean color brush that is not a third hand it's my <laughs> I store it in my mouth you know I don't know I didn't even notice I, I did that only when I was editing the video so um anyway i'm adding red to all of my flowers and then i'm going to use grays for the leaves and i think i chose three grays uh, my idea was that i would add some color to the background as well but i wasn't quite sure if it's gonna be hard to do that um but I think it worked out okay. I'm not sure how much of the coloring process I should leave in the video because there's really nothing to say about this. I mean, it, there's really no technique or anything I can teach you. <laughs> if you want to watercolor you obviously are not coming to my channel because you know that I don't do this so this is really just like a clumsy attempt at uh, adding color which is my you know my main goal is that it's gonna be colorful and sometimes even though I don't I I'm not so into coloring um sometimes it's good to do something different right and I was actually quite excited about this and the first few hours I even enjoyed it <laughs> and um I couldn't believe how long it really took a long time um I watched 
well watched, you know, I listen to and kind of have an eye on um, on some TV shows um, while I'm creating. Maybe that that's why it was so slow. <laughs> but I definitely watched a six six episode of um, a new TV show, and I'm pretty sure that that was after I watched like two Christmas movies the day before. So it did, I, I don't know, it does not look like it takes a long time, does it? And somehow I couldn't believe it that I watched all the, all the episodes. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, but if you have time and it's something that relaxes you, then why not? Um, normally that's die cutting for me and, you know, creating... Um, like a really, I don't know, layered kind of design. That's that's more my jam. But this was actually not too bad. As a child, I colored a lot. I, I used, I mean, not with watercolor, of course, uh, more like the standard, I don't know, pencils and uh, probably crayons, although that I don't remember. And maybe I didn't like it because... Uh, I know I did not like touching it, <laughs> uh, even though now nowadays I don't mind if my hands are full of paint or anything. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I did not learn this. You can see that it's um, a clumsy attempt. <laughs> but in the end, I think it's so forgiving, or maybe that's just my opinion, but in the end when I see it come together, I feel like even if it's a clumsy attempt, it looks okay. And um, so here I'm trying to add a really light layer of gray. So I actually took my lightest gray, but I realized later that that just doesn't do anything for me. And of course, I knew that going in, that my red is going to um, bleed into the gray but I did not mind this so there are some areas where it's kind of um, it has a pink color in the background but I did not mind actually I mean I could have just used the Zik pen or the, the brush um, instead of um, adding some water to it like I'm doing now I could have just used the color and then I don't think I would have had any bleeding but I like that look for some reason you can see there next to the big red flowers definitely there is a pink hue and here as well I don't I don't mind I mean to each their own I guess if you do then I guess you could just use the color that did not really mix the red with it um, and then I think I'm gonna cut it here because you see that I'm just doing the same thing I'm just going to color the whole background in and then I'll show you what I did with it but honestly <laughs> I didn't do anything basically so I just added um, double-sided she um, adhesive sheet um i like to use this with my um 3d embossing folder um designs and i actually add it to a pan like a heavyweight cardstock panel so that it kind of flattens out the whole thing and then i'm adding this to um slightly bigger background which is a little bit bigger than four and a quarter by five and a half because that's actually my panel's size and I did not want to trim it down now that I worked on it so hard. Uh, so I made my card base bigger. So now I'm trying to figure out how to place my sentiment. First, I actually thought that I would pull out some spa binders, um, some kind of alpha dies but then I realized that I have this sentiment why not use it? it it's perfect I think so I die cut it from a darker gray uh, so it, it it pops um from the background and then I'm trimming it down to the right size 
um, in between my um, um, leaves and flowers, as you can see. And I did not even think to add uh, anything else like gems or enamel dots. And what I'm doing here is I, I took a white gel pen and I am trying to add some details uh, when my pen actually does what I want. Sometimes it doesn't do it. So um, I, I don't know. It's it's like a, a very... <laughs> what is the word that I'm looking for? You know that I'm always looking for words. Um, temperamental, <laughs> I think. That's what I want to call my pen. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, Sometimes I need two layers and then it's really nice and white. Like now you can see that it's kind of standing or popping off the, the background more. And I always kind of swipe it off on my finger, as you can see, or my thumb. Um, I don't know, it's, it helps. I think the texture of my skin or something helps the, the, the uh, ballpoint for some reason. No idea why. But here it is, uh, the finished pro um, project with all the white details. I think it, it turned out okay. So um, try it if you like. I think it's um, fun. And then here are the other two cards with, these, with this fun um, design. I love the umbrella and these two people it's just really sweet so thank you very much um if i don't post any more videos this year then i wish you happy holidays and a wonderful healthy new year thank you for watching bye bye